what else did you practice a lot of that you feel like you want some help on? Maybe lock. Okay, let's do some lock. Hmm. Okay. So tell me what you did this week. Six, Every day. Six places. Oh, six, six places. Six oh, okay. places where there's two measures and one double. Oh, good. How did that work? I mean, it worked. Good for you. I mean, kind of. Doesn't that, isn't that a good practice strategy? Did you think there were too many places? No, well, like, it's, it's like when you practice, like, the actual two measures and one yes. double is fine. Right. And then when you go back and give you, like, two measures and then try yeah. to play through it, and that doesn't work. It still doesn't work. Hmm. I don't know why. Maybe we should do it more than how many times did you do it? Like, like the repetition? Five-ish? Five-ish? Five maybe it would take more than that. Why don't we try doing, would you, would you say six six places you? Yeah. Why don't we do three places in in one page, all right, a day, and then let's do them eight times in a row and see if that will help. Yeah. Okay? So will you pick one of those places that you did in that first page? Okay. 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 okay, you're going to do that one. Okay. Good. Can you go a little slower so you really are sure of your notes? You know, it might be a good idea for us just to play one major chord. Does that make sense? Can you play cadence in E major just to make sure your ear is wrapped around E major? You could just do your basic cadence. so that they are exactly the same every time. That's really important in our brain so that we can send signals that are the exact same to our fingers, okay? Because if the, if the timing's a little different or if we use a different fingering or if we mess up, all that is going to, um, our mind is gonna remember all that, right? So it's fine to just go even slower, okay? Even slower, okay? And especially to get that, right? Okay, so why don't we do it with a metronome? 